Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with my favorite 3 tier 8 light tanks and probably this is going to be a very big surprise for many of you uh, when you will see what I'm going to play with and those tanks are not the most popular ones but hey, if I like the tank, I like the tank. Um, quick announcement which I want to make, we are working our ass off for index page right and this is what we end up speaking about the uh, tech trees uh, this is how is it going to look like work is still in progress and obviously this is just a sneak peek for you so pretty much whenever you will click on the tank you will uh, uh, get into the index page right you will see a loadout setup you will see the uh, crew skills uh, you will see obviously the expectation values for mark of excellence and field modifications and everything and you will see easier picture over there for example whenever you are uh checking let's say super conqueror line right or badger line or uh, fava line and so on so on hopefully it will make uh, your life just a bit easier and hopefully it will help you to make one or another choice which line to go for and which line to avoid overall right and also on top of that fellas remember we have skillful 2 extra youtube channel where we are uploading the lower tier tanks right so from tier 5 up to the tier 7 uh, and if you are into the lower tiers feel free to check it out skill for l2 index page this is pretty much we are running this project for two months already and we are uploading every single day uh, so fellas once again feel free to check it out maybe it is going to fit with your style and now without further ado let's teleport into the game with a first light tank which i love with all my heart let's go and the very first chosen tank for us is Black Dog. I know you did not saw that one coming, but I love this vehicle with all my heart, even though probably uh, Hawk 30 is better tank, but I am, I, ha I have old solo, okay? So for me, this vehicle is just closer to my heart. Now... Speaking about the gun, 90mm gun, 240 alpha damage, 183mm of penetration, 830 shell velocity, heat, aka gold, has 250 penetration and 830 shell velocity, and high explosives, which is the biggest highlight of this tank, he has 102mm of penetration and uh, 770 shell velocity, which is pretty much the best thing uh, about this vehicle, fellas. It is pretty much the best thing about this vehicle. Now, this is very, very risky stuff what I am doing here. Uh, this could work very, very well or I can get slaughtered for, uh, for no reason whatsoever. And I hope I am not going to get slaughtered. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, luckily from here, fellas, we are able to outspot Leopata, which is absolutely amazing. And hopefully we can spot some crossing forces here as well. Um, and once again, this position is not very common, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, but it is working like a charm. And in fact, there is better position over there to this bush, uh, but it is way more risky. And unfortunately, this vehicle do not have... Um, that great of the camo okay so this is super important thing to highlight and please keep this in mind fellas camo wise this vehicle is not epic light tank what this tank is good at doing though this tank is extremely good at doing damage and bursting lightly armored vehicles with a high explosive in the face this tank is just shining in this situation right so you need to keep this in mind boys and girls ladies and gentlemen beautiful enemies slowly but surely are taking one for the team and there is still um you'll see even oh you'll see even is playing here as well okay that's nice this is very good hmm if you are wondering what is happening in my head for now, I am pretty sure we are not winning this side. So what we need to do, we need to kind of escape from here before it's too late. 
um, and in the same time, as wrong as it sounds, we are going to um, support the heavy line. If the things will go well and if we are going to do everything properly, we should be able to help our IS-22 against the Vaza or against the T-30, one out of two. Um, what we definitely need to do, we need to start eliminating enemy forces here uh, because we are sitting in the deep, deep, deep shithole, fellas. Otherwise, we are going to sit in an extremely deep shithole. So at least we need to win one side somehow. So, the first things first, T-30. I know I could potentially take this position and I could potentially snap him to death and probably this is what I'm going to do. This is risky stuff, but I'm up to take the risk. And T-30 should be... Oi, 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 oi. Who asked you to? Who asked you to? Mm-hmm. Not exactly what I am looking for, but that's what we have. That's okay, fellas. No complaints, no regrets. Everything is fine. Now, what could happen? They might have Scorpion G who is trying to get involved for us, right? This definitely could be the case. Mm -hmm. I am trying to figure out how to approach them and how not to get slaughtered for, uh, for our stupidity. So, first things first, probably I'm going to take this position right there. And hopefully we are going to smack the T-30 to the death. This is the plan. Can Panzer high explosive on and watch this beauty. Bam! 300. Now you might think skill what? 300? Bam! 300. Oh, you like it, don't you? And this is the main reason why this vehicle is so uh, close to my heart and that's why I love this tank so much. Those high explosives, fellas, are nuts on this vehicle. And... Even though DPM on the paper might not look epic on this vehicle, with the full high explosive spam, believe me, DPM is absolutely insane. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this tank has like tier 10 DPM with the high explosives. So this is super important thing to highlight. Now. Moving on next, there is still Su-130 who never ever was spotted and I think I know how am I going to approach this gentleman. So how we are going to do the things? Um, we are quickly getting into the city and hopefully from the city we will be able to um, spot one or another tank destroyer who is sitting in the back, right? This is my goal and this is my hope, so let's see. This might be not the best, um, this might be not the best angle, but it, this should work. Meanwhile, bam, 330. Bam. Is the 39 shooting high explosives? Wow. Poor 3090. This poor soul went with a full high explosives. Well, definitely not the best uh, call by this gentleman, but you know. Um, every single of us can make mistake or two in a while. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Indian Panzer just got ammo react. Hashtag never lucky. Uh, Leo Pata should get shot in the face. Good. Meow, 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 meow. And dead. Nice. And all we need to do at this point, we need to get a uh, um, very, very nice side angle for Lorraine. And we should be able to burst him with the high explosives like there is no tomorrow. At least that's the plan. That's the hope. That's the dream. You see... This tank is not only okay a tank for spotting, but it's very good tank for doing damage as well. And this is very important thing to highlight whenever you are playing with this vehicle. In my opinion, this tank is created for extremely good players who knows um, when to use what type of ammunition. This is the biggest highlight of this tank, my friends. It's not created for uh, um, newer players of the game because newer players of the game won't be able to use the full potential of this tank. And call me dirty, but I think this uh, um, game was absolutely amazing and I have a feeling we played well and we did uh, a great job. Obviously, it's not one of a kind game or something, but I want to show you average games or maybe above average games 
whenever uh, things are working okay for uh, all those three uh, light tanks and maybe uh, you will think about getting one for yourself right uh, but once again think twice do you want to spend money i can't stress this enough and uh, i need to and i want to so in this game we are second by experience we are second by the damage we managed to get one forty thousand profits although keep this in mind fifty thousand is coming from the mission so uh I am pretty happy about this, fellas. I am not complaining about my performance. Okay, let's teleport into the round two and let's see uh, what we are going to play with. And second chosen tank is going to be LT432, which is in fact, I think it is kind of tier 9 light tank. Um, I believe every single light tank player should have one in their light tank repertoire, or however to spell this properly, and this tank has a, an extremely good combination of the things. Um, it is obviously fast for a light tank, it is agile, it has great gun handling, it can ram uh, other light tanks and so on so on. So you can say whatever you want, but this light tank is pretty much uh, close to perfection if you know what I mean. You can you can spot, you can do damage, you can do many, many, many um, bad things for the enemies. And this is why this vehicle is in the list. Uh, obviously speaking about the map which we have for ourselves, it is not great, but uh, uh, you cannot expect to get camping off all the time playing with a light tank. Now, speaking about the gun, 180 alpha damage, um, 176 millimeters of penetration and 1150 shell velocity, which is very good. What is a bad thing about this tank? This tank is burning and this vehicle has shit gold ammunition. Gold ammunition, uh, 180 alpha damage, 218 millimeters of penetration and 1000 uh, uh, shell velocity. So it's slower and penetration is not that uh, uh, epic to be fair with you, right? It's need, it needs to be said. Mm, although this tank has very nice high explosives, 44 millimeters of penetration is not epic, but to deal with Arthas or other light tanks, this is more than enough, right? And 300 alpha damage um, is boosting DPM significantly currently fellas so yeah enough about the gun let's try to make this tank work right and we are getting a, quite a bit of assisting damage first moments into the game we have like um, 1000 assisting damage 400 damage dealt if you would ask me i would rate the start like a solid banana out of 10 and we are starting everything very very great now I know what you might think and you know what uh, this is exactly going to be the case what we are going to do we are going to make a hardcore pressure like this and we are going to attempt to spot enemy sniper schnitzels that's what we are going for meanwhile there is enemy uh, er, uh, there is enemy Borshik who is sitting here next to the red line so if the things will go well we should be able to maybe even ram him and penetrate him with high explosives right this is very important thing to say so let's go. Enemy Ergashem is thinking about his life choices. We are using auto aim and we are letting him on fire. And officially he is effed. Beautiful. Now what we need to do, we need to um, turn to the right side and try to avoid taking damage. I know I shouldn't take that shot from the um, Ergashem, but to be fair with you, it is how it is and we cannot complain whatsoever. Meanwhile, I can clearly tell um, we have a light tank baboon um, he is definitely uh, one of us boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and char footer was waiting here on the corner doesn't really matter to be fair with you why so because our guys will start making pressure for him and he is not going to enjoy himself now Speaking about this whole situation, right, um, I believe it's fair to say enemies has no team and they cannot do absolutely anything about this. So at this point, we are just uh, trying to pack as much free damage as we physically and possibly can. Um, this is a game over for enemy forces. They cannot do absolutely anything. And even though this game um, is average game, right, or maybe even below average game, um, this is what you are getting in the current world of tanks. 
you cannot expect you are going to um, have those epic games non-stop wherever whenever you are um, whenever you are slaughtering everyone and whenever the score is relatively equal because this wouldn't be world of tanks my friends anyways what we are thinking about doing ay 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 i was uh, truly wanting to um I really wanted to approach the concept 1B and to smack him once or twice, but this is completely fine. Listen, that was a four minutes battle, fellas, in the city map where light tanks usually are useless. Uh, to, so to get 3000 combined, to get some assisting damage, so to get some damage dealt, and just to show what this vehicle is all about, I believe that was a, a pretty okay game for us, if you would ask me. So let's see what kind of score we have with this vehicle after our uh, round number one or round number two of the video overall, right? Let's see. Moment of truth. Uh, if you are wondering what that was, that was drums, fellas. Hmm. So we get ourselves second class, we got 1.2 thousand damage, 2 thousand assisting damage, very nice, we are third by experience, we are somewhere actually in the second end by the damage, but once again, um, this is the city map and unfortunately we were playing with a light tank but it happens right and this is the score which we have um, am i feeling happy with this result to be fair with you i am feeling completely fine and i think that worked well for us and it's not Prokurovka, not Kempinovka. Now I believe the last one is, uh, the last tank is kind of predictable, right? So without further ado, let's report into the game with a third tank, right? And we are back with EBR 75 EL10. If I got you with EBR, uh, if I got you with ELC even 90, yo, a like on the video. No, ELC even is not my favorite uh, light tank and it's not one of my favorites. Uh, even though it is a great spotter, you are way too map dependent and the gun handling is just horrible on that tank. So I honestly prefer uh, EBR instead of ELC even 90, even though ELC even 90 probably uh, is a way better spotter than EBR is. Now speaking about the EBR, what is so special about this vehicle, you have high explosive ammunition which is epic. 75 millimeters of penetration, 850 shell velocity and 260 alpha damage. This is absolutely insane and this is very very good boys and girls ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is absolutely insanely good. Now standard ammunition, 175 millimeters of penetration, uh, 180 uh, millimeters of penetration right uh, and uh, 1300 shell velocity which is absolutely amazing and heat uh, 220, uh, 220 millimeters of penetration and uh, 80, 850 um, meter shell velocity which is completely fine it is not bad whatsoever and what we are going to do in this game in this game we are going to get involved uh, is this tank capable of winning battles against other light tanks? Hell yes. This tank is capable of winning battles against the other light tanks without bigger problems whatsoever. I can guarantee you that. Um, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, make pressure for this IS and we are going to make him regret him his life choices, right? So what we are doing, we are flanking him and we are obviously uh, making sure he is going um, to enjoy his um, time together with us. What I'm a bit sad about, our guy... Uh, our light tank kind of escaped and he is not really helping us to deal with this uh, with this is but it is how it is no complaints no regrets meanwhile um he's down to two shotable so i believe we should be able to easily eliminate him from the game as you can see and uh, Tanks with double, um, with double magazine, or I suppose to say, with the uh, two shells in the magazine, they are absolutely amazing. For example, look into the Borat, look into the Škoda, look into EBR. Right, all of those vehicles are absolutely amazing, and they can work extremely well, especially if you know what you are doing. Right. Meanwhile, we found the victim. He is officially dead. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, and this is what this tank is capable of doing. 
thing fellas uh, this tank can spot in the same time this tank can obviously um do damage right so this is a very good combination of the things if you would ask me right especially if you are going to aim um and obviously if you will successfully hit your shots meanwhile i'm asking our guys to support us against the hawk and obviously our team will do that right and look 500 after 500 500 after 500 this is truly nuts um and this vehicle is capable of doing many bad things for the enemies and whenever someone is making one or another mistake this tank can punish them very very easily in this kind of situation we have a lot of support left right and center and we are able to defend ourselves in the same time which is very very good obviously uh links punished us for shit ton of damage but i am accepting this and the, nothing what i could change about this plus on top of that which uh, um what is worth to highlight with this tank is magical wheels right as you can see some people did not uh, uh manage it to penetrate us just because of those magical wheels and even though enemies killed us in the end of the day this is not a horrible score and this is pretty damn nice uh, look at this 2.6 thousand damage 700 assisting damage and even that poor leo who decided to go aggressively for us uh, it was game over for him and i think that was overall pretty damn good game so without further ado let's teleport into the scoreboard and let's see what we have and we are back fellas we got second class for ourselves 1000 assisting damage 2.6 thousand uh, um damage dealt which was very very nice if you would ask me we are second by the damage we are second by experience we made 85 thousand uh, credits and this game was literally three minutes for us so i would rate this as a great success so those are three my favorite light tanks but now if we are speaking about the uh, best light tanks right i would say the best light tanks in the tier uh, 8 would be lt432 hawk 30 and probably ebr at least that's what i want to believe and probably the most fun light tank would be elc even if you are lucky with a map rotation just because of the camo value as this vehicle has so fellas boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you were very very well entertained and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace